Bed TV, I'm Lincoln, and today we're going to be installing a double den radio in my 2012 Jet SE. So if you're here for the off-road content that we're you're used to, I'm sorry. Uh, just scrolling by. The reason I'm doing this video is because all the videos that I'd seen online or on YouTube have been junk. Um, don't mind that. This is my work car. It was uh, the headliner falling down. Sorry. You should see the outside. It's worse. But we'll jump into the video now. All right. So I went ahead and started uh, to see all the things that I needed because apparently everybody else knows what they need. I didn't. But what we're going to do is come up here and you can see there's a couple tabs right here. And the best way to start is you're going to push in right here. So you get a little bit of, little bit of a gap. I know that you this isn't going to be the proper install or whatever. You're going to need a tool like this. It's best. You can get in. You can use a screwdriver, but there's a chance that you're going to screw everything up. But you're going to go in here. You're going to pop that out. And then you're going to slowly pull around. You're going to have these two here. There's going to be two more right in here. And then there's two little ones right here. And if you're lazy like me, you're not going to unplug your passenger seat belt. Airbag. I'm sorry. Passenger airbag. But what you're going to want to do, very first thing I should have start, started is you're going to want to put the car in, uh, well, I've got this thing in sport mode right now. That way the shifter's all the way back, but we got the trusty parking brake on. All right, so after you get all, you know, after you get the gear shifter out of the way and you get these tabs pulled out, what you're going to need is a T20. There you go. You're going to want that T20. You're going to go in here and you're pull these four screws right there all right so after we do that you just want to yeet the radio on out of there yeah there we go radio's out so once we come over here all right so once we have the radio pulled out we're going to come over here and you're going to see your wires you're going to come to this is the antenna you're going to take this little tab right here and pull it all the way up and then boom out so then we come over here and it does not have a little tab. What it's got is this little lever. So you pull that lever all the way up, pop, right out it goes. So now we are ready for the new radio. But I'm gonna go in and wire up my harness that I got from Skosh and uh, we'll be ready to pop that right in. Since I'm already out here and I brought the antenna with me, this is what you're gonna get with your Skosh kit on Amazon, by the way, is where I ordered this. So I already took it out of the package, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little green end right here, and you see the side with the tab, we're gonna take and stick, make sure this is down towards the tab when we stick it in there. So I'm sorry guys if this is sketchy or shaky or whatever, but it's hard to do one-handed. All right, so as you can see, if we get it straight it'll click right in there and then you take this tab and you shove it back down you hear it click now it's safe and secure and we are ready to put this in our new radio let's go check that out Alright, so as you've seen in the last clip, everything that Skosh sent, if you need to reference a part number or whatever, just pause the video and check that out. So, I went ahead and wired the Skosh end up to my Pioneer end. By the way, I have a Pioneer, what did it say, AVH 2500 NEX head, uh, touchscreen head unit. So... Um, what comes with it is obviously a head unit and has the mic for Bluetooth and it has, uh, I guess a USB cord hookup. Once you get it slid in, remember we had to flip this up, pull it out. So once you push it in, be sure to flip that down, lock it in place. Now this end is ready to go. And like I showed you, 
before all the wiring. You put that in, flip that shut, our antenna is ready to go. So with this Pioneer setup, it's a Bluetooth, so it's got a mic. I could cheat this mic wire. I could have ran it right through here and right through here, and it could have worked just fine. But I wanted a cleaner look, so I ran it through uh, one of these, I believe that hole. And it comes out down here by the gas pedal, and then I just pulled it up. Yeah, I need to do some cleaning up out here, but uh, I'll pull it tight in here once I get the radio installed. And then it had a USB cord or port on the back of the radio. Weird flex, but okay. And then it sent me this USB hookup to put on the front because for some reason Pioneer did not put it anywhere on the front of this like any other normal radio. So what I did was I ran it through a hole and there's this little hole right here. Now it had a little piece of plastic similar to this one right here but I went ahead and punched it out and I found where it came out in here and pulled it through so when I get it all done and cleaned up this USB, USB, I'm sorry, will be in my glow box rather than just dangling around out here somewhere. All right, so now once we get all of our wires situated, you got your antenna that goes over here, you got your big wiring harness that goes there, USB there, your mic goes there, and now it's time to reinstall. And I'm gonna have to go through all that, obviously. Okay, so we we do everything in reverse order you know you take your t20 you reinstall your four screws and after that you're ready to pop this bad boy back in place so you just make sure everything's lined up as such which i'm doing a terrible job at for the video oh there we go and then you just go around and you pop everything back in place and looky there, which I still need to do. I need to go back through and kind of redo that. But you get the gist. You push it all up back in place. And now you have an aftermarket radio, double din radio, and uh, your 2012 Jetta. You can put, uh, this specific kit came with a cubby hole, so you can put a cubby hole, I believe, down here. And your single din can be up here. I wanted uh, Bluetooth and... Uh, Apple CarPlay, which also has Android Auto. So uh, I wanted that. I got this kit. I got this CD player with this kit. And it's pretty much self-explanatory as far as wiring and stuff goes. The only reason I did this whole video is because all the videos I watched didn't show any of the wiring behind the radio. It showed you this is the radio, this is the kit, this is how you install the kit. But they didn't show anything else beyond that i i didn't know how to do any of those wires until i did it myself so hopefully this video is short enough for you guys to uh at least uh learn something uh hopefully it was helpful so anyway i've been linking at corn fed tv uh i don't know how many more of these install videos we'll have but there you go a uh pioneer avh 2500 nex touchscreen in your 2012 Jetta. So thanks for watching. You guys have a good one.